a committee on teachers in higher education 1985 emphasizes on rigorous merit based selection which is crucial for teaching profession and it says that education system should not be fragmented on the basis of language region caste and religion and teachers should be given a place of honor they should be provided with good salary and prospects of good career development work and accountability from teachers and higher education institutions management must be demanded in 1968 an education policy came out and this national policy of 1968 marked a significant step in the history of education in post independence india it aimed to promote national progress a sense of common citizenship and culture and to strengthen national integration it laid stress on the need for a radical reconstruction of the education system and to improve its quality at all stages and gave much greater attention to science and technology the cultivation of moral values and a closer relation between education and the life of the people of all the factors for the quality education and its contribution to national development the teacher is the undoubtedly the most important it is on his personal qualities and character his educational qualifications and professional competence the success of all educational endeavor ultimately depend teachers must therefore be accorded an honored place in society their emoluments and other services service conditions should be adequate and satisfactory having regard to their qualifications and responsibilities the academic freedom of teachers to pursue and publish independent studies and researches and to speak and write about significant national and international issues should be protected teacher education particularly in service education should receive due emphasis in this direction the national policy on education was adopted by parliament in may 1986 the committee was set up under the chairmanship of acharya ramurthy in may 1990 to review the national policy on education and to make recommendations for its modifications that committee submitted its report in december 1990 at the request of the central advisory board of education a committee was set up in july 1991 under the chairmanship of sri n janardana reddy to consider modifications in national policy on education taking into consideration the report of the ram murthy committee and other relevant developments having a bearing on the policy and to make recommendations regarding modifications to be made in national policy of education this committee submitted its report in january 1992 while broadly endorsing the national policy on education cab has recommended a few changes in the policies education is a unique investment in the present and the future this cardinal principle is the key to national policy on education minimum level of learning will be laid down for each stage of education and steps will also be taken to foster among students an understanding of the diverse cultural and social system of the people living in different parts of the country in the areas of research and development and education in science and technology special measures will be taken to establish network arrangements between different institutions in the country to pool their resources and participate in projects of national importance recruitment of teachers from scheduled caste is more emphasized educated and promising scheduled tribe youths will be encouraged and trained to take up teaching in tribal areas 
special remedial courses and other programs to remove psychosocial imp impediments will be provided to improve their performance in various courses. Special emphasis will be laid on organization of employment or self-employment oriented and need and interest based vocational and skill training programs. They explained the present situation of higher education at that time. So, the NPE 1986 it says that we have a large system of higher education, but the developments in the field have been extremely uneven. The facilities provided in universities and colleges vary widely. The courses offered by the universities have not been reorganized to meet the demands of the time. Their relevance and utility are constantly questioned. The credibility of the evaluation system is being eroded. The university system should have the freedom and responsibility to innovate in teaching and research. The emphasis on autonomy of colleges and departments, provision of means to interact across boundaries of institutions and funding agencies, better infrastructure, more rationalized funding for research, integration of teaching, search and evaluation and the pedagogy, the methods of teaching, all these reflect this major concern. The National Policy on Education visualizes that higher education should become dynamic as never before. The main features of the programs and strategies to impart the necessary dynamism to the higher education system, it emphasizes on development of autonomous colleges and departments, redesigning the courses, training of teachers strengthening the research and improvements in efficiency. To frame guidelines and pattern of assistance including the extent of academic, administrative and financial freedom and the corresponding responsibilities developing on the autonomous colleges, their management structures including provisions for safeguarding the interest of teachers, etc and to provide special assistance to colleges in tribal background areas to enable them to develop into autonomous colleges. The policy reflected that higher education programs have to be redesigned to meet the growing demands of a specialization, to provide flexibility in the combination of the courses and to facilitate mobility among the courses, programs or institutions to update the modernize and modernize the curricula to integrate work or practical experiences and participation in creative activities with the learning processes and also to facilitate reforms in the evaluation procedure, the assessment techniques, the present rigid structures do not permit these kind of reforms. So, they proposed that to secure full involvement of the universities and faculties in redesigning and reorienting the courses in higher education and to review comprehensively the existing guidelines on restructuring courses framed by the UGC to incorporate the new concepts in the design, content and structure envisaged in the policy. The foundation courses proposed in the UGC scheme of restructuring courses will be an important element of the general undergraduate programs. A special emphasis should be laid on the study of India's composite culture, so as to foster unity and integrity of the country among the students. Women's studies will be one of the components of the foundation courses. The curricula of different disciplines will also reflect issues concerning women's status and development. To reorganize the board of studies in the universities to facilitate redesigning of courses and to promote interdisciplinary programs and interfaces with employment has been emphasized 
in the field of higher education by this policy and to make provision for academic recognition credit for participation in creative activities like NSS, NCC, sports, games, etc. And to organize regional or national seminars to generate enthusiasm in the commitment to the new design of courses. Flexibility in the combination and the modular structure, accumulation of the credits, etc. And also to link development grants to universities with the willingness and interest to reorganization of courses and commitment to innovation as a continuing effort. The number of curriculum development centers set up by the UGC which was 24 at that time will be increased and their work will be oriented to the design visualized in the policy. The International Center of Science and Technology education may be utilized to coordinate and develop curricula in the field of science and technology. And the material will be made available as multimedia packages. Autonomous colleges and autonomous departments will be major instruments in promoting the redesign of the courses. The college development councils should be set up and that will encourage local initiative in the design of courses, especially the application oriented component and strengthening of the linkages.